Mrs. Leary, but these things do take time. Oh, can you hang on a moment, please? Mr. Frinton, it's Mrs. Leary again. She wants to know, are we selling her house or preserving it as an ancient monument? She's got a cheek. How she expects to sell her house riddled with dry rot at the money she's asking, I don't know. I'll deal with her. Hello, Mrs. Leary, how are you? Is Reggie Frinton here? Yes. But, yeah, but... My dear lady, I cannot force people to come and view your property. No, yes, well, one must be realistic about these things. I mean, the house does need rather a lot spent on it. And as an area, Gable Lane isn't exactly uh, avant-garde, shall we say? Eh, yes, yes, of course. I'll make a note of that. Out, all day, key in usual place. Very well, Mrs. Leary, we'll do the best we can for you. Goodbye. Did you get that, Wendy? Mm. The Brambles, Gable Lane. If they can walk, send them round, hot foot. Well, it'd be an awful waste of shoe leather. If we can sell that place, dear, we can sell sand in the Sahara. Ah, Mr. Clinton, you will be delighted to know we are getting warmer. My delight knows no bounds, Mr. Worth. What shot the temperature up? Well, it's this house here, 15 Billbrook Drive. It's the nearest I've seen so far. The rooms are the right shape for my carpets. The windows just fit my curtains. And there's just enough walls for my pictures. It really, it really is a terrible shame. Oh, what's wrong with this one? It's the PowerPoint. PowerPoint? They won't fit my three-pin plugs. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Worth. Now, yes. look, I don't blame you for trying to find the perfect home, but with all these pettifogging restrictions, aren't you going to end up reaching for the moon? Uh, well, I certainly hope not, because I've said all along, nothing further out than Surbiton. <laughs> Yes, but need you be quite so fastidious? I mean, take last week, you turned down that very nice bungalow just because you would have had nothing to do with your stair rods. Yes, but isn't that the art of searching for a new house? You see, if I can get one exactly like the one I'm in at the moment, it won't cost me a penny on furnishings. But if you are looking for a house exactly like the one you're in at the moment, why bother to move at all? <laughs> why bother? You're right, Mr. Flinton. <laughs> yes. Now, you tell me, why am I bothering to move? Frankly, I haven't the faintest idea, Mr. Ooh. Worth. All I know is that you have been tramping round practically every property we have on our list. Not to mention, too, that we haven't. Ooh. You know, I can't... I can't imagine where I got those two addresses from. They weren't even for sale, either. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, one of them was just the sort of house I was looking for. Yes, I know. Unfortunately, it happened to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember your wife letting me in, thinking I'd called to cut the water off. Uh, did you ever get it put back on again? Uh, <laughs> let's just stick to the point. Mm. Now, why not make everything happy for everyone and stay where you are? No, I can't. Now, fancy me forgetting. I must become detached. Detached? As distinct from semi, which I am at the moment. You see, it's far too noisy. The neighbours, they're always banging and shouting. Very off-putting. I'm learning to play the trombone. <laughs> And that's why you want a detached house. Well, it's essential. You see, there's lots of things you want when you're learning to play the trombone. One thing you don't want is competition. I should think another thing you don't want is neighbours. Or would it be more pertinent to say the neighbours don't want you? No, no, just a, I'm always very considerate when I practice. I always stuff a sock up the bell. A sock? <laughs> up the bell. That's the part at the front. The sound comes out of there. <laughs> I presume it comes out of the, the other end when I blow it in. <laughs> Don't think I'm not utterly fascinated by your musical aspirations, but I am rather busy today, and it would be enormously helpful if you would tell me exactly what it is you want me to do. I just want you to find me a suitable house, that's all. Have you got a country cottage not too far from the town centre? No. <laughs> Oddly enough, the town centre is the one place they don't seem to build country cottages. Oh, just refresh my memory. What was it that didn't suit about the house in Gable Lane? Well, I haven't seen a house in Gable Lane. You haven't seen the Bramble? No, I haven't seen that one either. Oh, but my dear Mr. Worth, I mean, that house could have been built for you. It's detached, it's a nice quiet area, big rooms, you'd like it? Yes, as it PowerPoints. For three-pin plugs? Oh, well, it sounds marvellous. Well, good. When can you go and look at it? Well, at any time now. All I need is the key. Oh, you don't even need that. The house is still occupied. 
As a matter of fact, the lady phoned only just before you came in. She said she might be going out today and she would leave the key under the front door mat. Ooh, do you, are you quite sure she won't mind me looking over the house? Oh, she'd be absolutely delighted. Uh, normally, of course, I'd come along with you as I have done so very many times. But I am rather busy today and as you're such a valued and long-standing client. You have my full permission to inspect the property. Ah, thank you very much. So that's the Brambles Gable Lake. Yes. Shall I write it down for you? No, no, I shall forget. I have a system for remembering things. I say, th you know, I say something six times over, and after that, it's up there forever. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sure you'll fall in love with it, Mr. Worth. Yes, the Brambles Gable Lane. That's right. Thank you. The Brambles um, Gable Lane. It might just need a few pounds yes. spent on it, but it's a splendid investment. Yeah. Thank you. The Brambles Gable Lane, the Brambles Gable Lane. The Brambles Gable Lane. The Brambles Gable Lane. The Brambles Gable Lane. Taxi! Up at the Gables at Bramble Lane. to something here. How lucky can you get? Now look at that wallpaper. It is a perfect match for your carpet. And if I'm not mistaken, your stair rails will just fit those stairs. <laughs> Harry, I'm pleased to tell you, <laughs> you are not mistaken. <laughs> ah, ah, this is you. This is definitely you. Now, you know that smoking jacket you wear for amateur dramatics? Yes, you can now wear it in real life. <laughs> now, let me just furnish this house in my own... Do it your own way, I will. Right, I'll have the settee... I'll have the settee there. I'll put one easy chair there, and the other one. There. Right, and what about your, your glass for, for the wall? What? Ah, that will go there. And you know that picture when you last saw your father? Well, you put that in the attic. <laughs> You've never liked it. <laughs> Ah, dining room with kitchen off. Do you like it? Do I, I'm delighted. Pop upstairs and see how many bedrooms there are. <laughs> oh, Harry. Don't say you're going to be picked to the post by another house hunter. Well, think of something to put him off. All right, give me a moment. I'll think of it. I know. Open the door. Ask him if he's come about the rising damp. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, yeah, uh, good morning. Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I can't smell anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that you can. I've come to the, the gas meter. Oh, is that all? What a lovely surprise. <laughs> Do you know where it is? Well, in these houses, it's usually under the stairs. Yeah, that's where mine is. Right. Get me torch to it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you're the very man who can help me. Could you tell me roughly what the quarterly gas bill will come to for a house this size? Well, if I could find a gas meter, I'll tell you exactly. I thought you said it was under here. Uh, no, you said you thought it was under there. <laughs> well, just a moment. You distinctly said that your gas meter was under the stairs. Yeah, well, so it is. My, ah, do you think that's where you got confused? Don't look here. I just thought that if this was your house, you would know where your gas meter was. Hey, you're so right. If it was, I would. But it isn't, so I don't. <laughs> Well, where does that leave me? Well, at the moment, looking for the gas meter. <laughs> Look, can I be of any assistance? May I safely conclude that you don't actually live here? Well, yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to write anything down in your book, but there's a very good chance that I might be. That's why I was interested in the gas bill. <laughs> I see. I do believe I've tumbled. You are actually thinking of buying this property. Now, I am. Now, you tell me, do you think I am ill-advised? I think I was ringing a doorbell. <laughs> well, I'm very glad you called because... You must go in lots of houses during the course of your job. Now, how much would you say this one is worth? Oh, well, now, uh, 
Well, I couldn't tell you exactly, but uh, I doubted you'd clinch it for 15,000. No, I don't think I would. In fact, I'm sure I wouldn't. I haven't got it. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose it depends how desperate the owner is to sell. Mm. I mean, if he was waiting to emigrate to Australia or something, you can make him a ridiculous offer for something like 10,000, and you might just be lucky enough to get it up for about 12. Ah, now, that is very cunning. And if he'd actually booked his passage and I did a, a bit of dilly-dallying, I might get it for even less. Well, all things are possible. Yes. I mean, there's even an outside chance I might get round to reading the gas meter before the day's out. <laughs> or shall I come back tomorrow? No, no, you see, there's an old saying, never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. I might just try that. I would start tomorrow. <laughs> I'll try and find the kitchen. Oh, you can do that today. Look, it's through there and behind the dining room. In the meantime, I'll ring the estate agent and check up on the price. There's no point in holding up his emigration if I can't even afford to buy it. Hello, Reggie Frinton here. Ah, oh, Mr. Frinton, Harry well. Oh, yes. I, I'm telephoning you from the house, and I'll be very honest. I have rather fallen in love with it. Splendid! Mm. Get me the brambles, quick. Uh, somehow I felt you and that house would have a lot in common. Uh, well, it's definitely me, all right. Mind you, I don't know what it's like upstairs. Oh, it's you, I assure you. But uh, as I said, it might just need a little doing to it. But if you treat it as an investment... Yeah, well, that is the point. How much are they asking for it? Well, now, Mr. Worth, I don't want you to worry about the price just at this moment. I mean, if you really are interested in the property, I'll negotiate something very reasonable for you with the owner. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I'm sure you will, but if you could give me some sort of idea. Uh, yes, well, um, the asking price is 6500 6500 Yes, but that's just the asking price. Six thousand five hundred? I know, but I don't want you to worry about it. But I mean to say six thousand five hundred for a house like this. Yeah, now, please, please, Mr. Worth, will you leave it to me? I mean, if I can be assured that you have a genuine interest, I'll go back to the owner and negotiate something much more realistic. Uh, well, only one, one only wants to be fair. If I could have your word, uh, you'll wait until I've looked upstairs, until I've got back to your office. Oh, with the greatest of pleasure. Oh, and if the owners do return before you leave, don't talk money to them. Just get them to ring me. Ah, uh, yes, I'll do that. Uh, right, goodbye, Mr. Frinton. Six thousand five. <laughs> well, I eventually found it was in one of the cupboards in the kitchen. Oh, yes, I meant to have a good look in there because I, I like a lot of cupboard space. I don't know if you want to make a note of it, but it was just over 32,000 cubic feet. My word, that is a lot of cupboard space. <laughs> <laughs> that was a gas consumption for the last quarter. Oh, I see, gas... Uh, well, what is it in real money? Oh, well, now, let's see, that'd be about 11 pounds odd. Oh, it's much more than I expected. Mind you, I found it pays to think ahead when using gas. For instance, if you can remember to boil your kettle 15 minutes before you need it, you can use a smaller light. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same with eggs, I'll say, pounds. You sound like the bloke who keeps confounding our computer. Anyway, are you going to buy this house? Because if you are, I shall put a little red star in my book. It is almost definite. Yeah, you'll never believe this, but... All they're asking is 6,500. You're joking. No, yes. I've just spoken to the estate agent on the phone. Well, that's incredible. Must be something wrong with it. Yes, that's what I... Did you happen to notice if it had a roof on? <laughs> well, that doesn't seem possible. I mean, I paid 5,000 for mine, and compared to this, it's like a little mud hut. Yes, well, I'd be very... You know, I'd be most grateful if you wouldn't mention it to anybody, because... The last time I got the best of a bargain was when I sold my d suit for ten shillings. <laughs> I won't say a dicky bird. Yeah, good. All the same, I think you'd better check that roof. Yes, I, I will. I'll do it now while it's still on my mind. <laughs> Can't see any daylight. Six thousand five hundred? <laughs> While you're at it, Wendy, you can take the details of Mrs. Leary's house in Gable Lane down, too. You're not that confident, are you? I've never been more certain of anything in my life. When you've been selling houses as long as I have, you can't mistake that undertone of eagerness they get in the voice. No, I don't know what's made him nibble, but you can take my word for it. He's hooked. Well, he must be balmy. I don't doubt that for a moment. Mr. Printon, if you say you've sold it, 
I shall probably burst into tears. No need for that, Mr. Worth. As a matter of fact, our Miss Betts is just removing the details from our available property list. The house is all yours if you want it. Oh, I certainly want it. It's absolutely marvellous. It's got a roof on and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, do sit down, Mr. Worth. Ah, thank you. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. You've seen the house, yeah. you obviously like it. It remains only to agree a reasonable purchase price. Well, that rather worried me, because I wondered if I'd misunderstood you on the phone. You did say... Now, fixed now, up. Mr. Worth, we yeah. both know what I said, but I did stress that that was just the asking price. Uh, yes, but I mean £6,500 for a house. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but we're both practical men, so here's yeah. what I want you to do. Just make me an offer for what you think the house is worth to you. Yeah, well, you won't mind if I pitch rather low so I can leave myself room to maneuver. <laughs> I'd expect that. As a matter of fact, I admire a good negotiator. Ah, good. Now, I will offer... Uh, by the way, you don't happen to know if the owner is going to Australia. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, never mind. I will offer 9,750. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious. Uh, well, I did say I wanted room to maneuver. Oh, Mr. Worth, if this is some clever form of satire, I'm afraid I'd entirely miss the point. <laughs> can't seriously be trying to offer £9,750 for that house, can you? All right, then go on, I'll start manoeuvring. <laughs> 10000 <laughs> Yes. I don't believe it. Very well then, guineas. <laughs> my dear chap, you're putting me in an impossible situation. I mean, on the one hand, I have my loyalty to my clients, and yet my professional integrity will not allow me to accept such a ridiculous offer. Very well then, 10,500, and that is my absolute limit. Well, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, you have examined this property carefully, Mr. Worth. Oh, yes, I have indeed. Uh, why, what did you have in mind? Uh, well, uh, you mentioned the roof. Well, I thought it was wise to check. There's definitely one on. <laughs> no, but did you actually take a ladder to it? Because... <coughs> well, there are several tiles missing. <laughs> well, I didn't take them, I assure you. <laughs> I mean, what use would a few tiles be to me? <laughs> what I am trying to tell you, Mr. Worth, is that there is a hole, a small hole, in the roof. A hole? You mean an actual hole, an error of nothingness? <laughs> oh, yes, but it's, it's not at all serious. And naturally, the price would be adjusted accordingly. Ah, good. Similarly, of course, for the dry rot. Ah, uh, uh, dry rot? <laughs> oh, well, it's nothing at all serious either. It's just a matter of reflooring, putting in a new damp proof course. And as I say, the price would be duly adjusted. Well, I certainly hope so, Mr. Frenton. I may as well tell you I'm back to pounds already. What else is wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. Now, there you are. You see, in my attempt to be honourable and trustworthy, I blighted your first impressions. Now, didn't you tell me yourself you'd fallen in love with it? Yes, but I haven't bought it a ring or anything. <laughs> Look, I think I'd better pop back and have another look before I finally decide. Well, we're getting inquiries all the time, Mr. Worth. I cannot promise you that it will still be available. Ah, but will it still be standing? <laughs> there, you see, I've given you such a wrong impression. Now, why don't you go back and have another look, and if the lady of the house has returned, just ask her to show you her covered patio. <laughs> I'd rather not, Mr. Frinton. I, I see no cause to get familiar. Give me half an hour, I'll give you a definite decision. <laughs> Have you sold it? No. Oh, he's a fly bird, that one. He made such a ridiculously inflated offer that he forced me to tell him what was wrong with the place. I only hope Mrs. Leary's got back home. A session with that chap might convince her that he, we've really got to graft for our money. Seems solid enough, Harry. We'd better have the carpet up and have a really good look. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no? uh, ah, good morning. What's going on here? Uh, I'm looking for the dry rot. <laughs> dry rot? Yes, apparently it's in the hall somewhere. 
<laughs> First I've heard of dry rot. Yes, I've only just heard about it myself. It's rather disturbing. Well, I wouldn't expect it in a house like this, would you? No, I wouldn't. No. Are you from the local council? <laughs> no, I'm just making a, a private inspection. I, am, I don't understand what you're doing here. Well, I assume, like you, I'm looking round the property. I'm not looking round the property. Oh, but I think you should. You did know there was a hole in the roof. <laughs> No, I didn't. No, it came as a bit of a shock to me. <laughs> Have you made an offer for it? What for? For the house. But this house is mine. Now, please, don't let's jump to conclusions. After all, isn't there such a thing as first come, first serve? Look here, I own this house. I have lived here for nearly ten years. Oh, I see. So, in fact, you are the person who's selling it. I'm not selling it. Uh, must be your wife, then. <laughs> ah, that's right, I remember. It was the lady of the house I had to ask. Is it in your wife's name? Well, as a matter of fact, it is, but that's purely a financial expedient, and she certainly isn't selling it. Are you sure? <laughs> of course I'm sure. Wife wouldn't do a thing like that without telling her husband, now would she? That's true. Unless, of course. Unless what? No, no, we mustn't pursue that line of thought. Although, you must admit it's rather odd she should arrange with the estate agent to send people round to look at it. I can't believe she's done anything of the sort. But why would she do a thing like that without telling me? Well, of course. <clears throat> well, the kindest way I know how to put it is... Uh, <clears throat> have you noticed if she's been a bit off-hand lately? <laughs> if you are suggesting that my wife and I are on the verge of an estrangement, I can refute that emphatically. Yes, I'm quite sure you're right. But what a pity your wife isn't here so we could really get at the truth. The last thing you must do is worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. Oh, good. It's not about my wife. However, I think perhaps I will send her a telegram. Oh, oh. Where is she? Where is she? Yeah. Well, if you must know, she's spending a long weekend with her mother. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> well, I can't help feeling that it might be a longer weekend than you, Bob. <laughs> that is an impertinence. Yes, if I were you, I'd have a word of, with her about it. Because... Well, it, it's wrong. A wife's place is beside her. Yeah, how did you get in? Well, I got in with the front door key. She left it under the plant pot, which rather proves she had a lot on her mind, because she told the estate agent it would be under the mat. You're wandering about all over the house. Oh, yes, I've had a very good look round, and by the way, I like it. I am not in the least bit interested in your opinion. Yeah, but to be fair, it's not your house. But it is my house! But it's not in your name. Well, that's purely an expedient to avoid unnecessary payment of death duties. I consider this an intolerable intrusion in my privacy. You took another carpet in the lounge as well. No, but one thing I did forget to do was measure the curtains. You know. <laughs> Why should you do this to me? I, I don't understand it. I just don't. Morning. This is my missus. We've called about the house. Well, who are you? I'm your gas man. Oh, all right, come in. Right. Do you like it, Lil? <coughs> that staircase will need a lot of dusting. Look, I'm a bit involved at the moment. The meat is in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. I read it about an hour ago. Are you the owner? I'm the owner of the house, yes. Why? What's the matter? And is it true you're only asking six and a half? I'm not asking anything of anybody except to be left alone. I can't do what you've got to do and leave me alone to concentrate. Just as you like, girls. Come and see how you like the sitting room, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're still here, right? Oh, my word. That was a quick quarter. It's a big <laughs> thing. <laughs> we'll take some eating. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah. Uh, pardon me, madam, are you by any chance the lady with the covered patio? <laughs> oh, my, this is my wife! Oh, oh, look, I am sorry. What I mean is I'm very pleased. How do you do? <laughs> I don't suppose you will be pleased, but it can't be helped. Now, look, you may as well know that we are interested in purchasing it. But oh, wait a minute, that's a bit much, isn't it? Well, at 6,500, I mean, we'd be fools to pass it up. We could make a quick five grand with a resale. I know, but you promised not to tell anybody. Well, I've only told the wife. Yes. But can she be trusted? <laughs> it's the kitchen I'm interested in, George. Oh, well, that's down here. Have you come with me? I'll show you. Excuse me. Can I have a quick word with you? Yeah, not just now. I'm trying to get telegrams. You know, I haven't even got the operator yet. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, will you promise not to sell your, your house to these other people until you've heard my offer? Yes. What other people? Uh, the people who've come to buy your house. They don't mean to tell me they've come to buy it as well. Yes, now they are going to offer you six five, six thousand five hundred. I'll give you ten thousand and take all the dry rot. Well, this is absurd. Yeah, hold that a minute. <laughs> Would you mind getting out of here at once, please? Just a minute. Please, just shove him. Please, don't mind, please. Out. Out. 
uh, telegrams? Thank you. Would you hold on a moment? Thank you. Telegrams. Thank you. Would you ha telegrams? Would you hold on a moment, please? <laughs> get out. Me? Yes, you get out. Ten thousand five hundred. Out. Guinness. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I would like to send a telegram to Mrs. Eva Jobs, Mole Farm, Slingsby. Why do you have to do this to me, you heartless Jezebel? What double dyed treachery are you plotting under what perfidious end? Why must you always persecute your own? I beg your pardon, operator. <laughs> oh, am I? Oh, well, perhaps you'd just better put the. Please telephone, Hubert. <laughs> Mr. Frinton, I do think you ought to have warned me. Oh. Oh, ah, yes. Now, if it was about the missing downspout, Mr. Worth, it was just an oversight. I did really mean to mention it. No, it's not that. I didn't even miss the missing downspout. It was a missing wife who came to light when I was looking for the dry rot and found her husband. Oh. Uh, do you think you could explain that a little more clearly? Yes, certainly. She's gone back to her mother. He doesn't even know she's trying to sell it. The poor man is distraught. Are you saying that Mrs. Leary is trying to sell the house and that Mr. Leary doesn't know anything about it? He doesn't know a thing. He kicked me out. I asked you, Mr. Frinton, is this right? It certainly is not. I'll ring up straight away and find out just what's going on. Yes, and I do think you're entitled. Ah, Mrs. Leary, I was just trying to get you on the phone. If it's about my ass, I've been having second thoughts. I'm not surprised after what I've just heard. I think you know, Mr. Worth. Yes, we have met. Uh, uh, Mr. Frinton, uh, do you think... Uh, we could have a word privately. Well, if you must, Mr. Worth. Uh, perhaps you'd care to go and sit down in my office, Mrs. Leary. Well, you won't be long, will you? I've got my husband's dinner to cook yes, yet. Of course, of course. Now, what is it, Mr. Worth? Mr. Frinton, she's not his wife. Who's not? She isn't. <laughs> she's married to a gas man. <laughs> Mr. Worth, I don't know where you're getting your information from, but that is definitely Mrs. Leary, the lady who is selling the house. But she can't be. When I was there, she was trying to buy it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to crack, but why? Why should she want to buy a house which she has been pestering me to sell for weeks? Why, indeed, the mind bottles? That would be the first question I'd ask her. Uh -huh. In the meantime, I'm still looking for a house. What's this one here? Three bedrooms, lounge, yeah. space for garden. Before you go any further, Mr. Worth, that is your own house which you have asked us to tell for you. Yes, it sounds ideal. Do you know how, how much I'm asking for it? Uh. <laughs>